Are you dreaming of a new home? But the thought of selling your home is so daunting and you have so many questions that you don't even know which way is up. I have many clients that feel this same way. So today I wanted to go over some common questions you may have about selling your home because I know that it can be very, very overwhelming. And I'm hoping that this video helps so that you are able to sell your home and start that new journey. Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. So the absolute first question that you should be asking after you decide to sell your house is, how do I find a reliable real estate agent that I trust to help me sell my house? Finding a reliable real estate agent is a very important part of a successful home sale. You can start by asking recommendations from families or friends, or by even looking online. After finding potential agents, I recommend setting up interviews with each and every one of these agents. You can get a feel for their personality, their experience, and their fees. Here's some advice I have when looking for a real estate agent. 99% of buyers start looking online before they go looking at houses. So is that real estate agent up to date on video and photo? Are they utilizing these things to market your home? Also, are they up to date on social media? Most buyers are on social media. So they're looking at Facebook, they're looking at Instagram, they're looking at YouTube. They could even be looking at TikTok for a potential home. So it's very important to keep up to date on these trends. Also, do they understand the market? Can they answer the question of, how is the real estate market? That is super, super important to understand and know. This is a huge asset of yours, so it's important to pick a real estate agent that you know, like, and trust. Okay, so now you've found your real estate agent. And I'm assuming your first question before you even asked about the real estate agent was, how much can I actually sell my house for? Determining the value of your home is a very important step because you never want to overprice yourself right out of the gates. There are several factors that go into determining the value of your home. The current real estate market, the location, the condition, and comparable home sales in your area. By working with your realtor, they can provide all of this information for you. But if you are interested right now in figuring out maybe what your home is worth, there is a link down below in the description for an instant valuation of what your home is worth. It's important to keep in mind that pricing your home is a tricky balance because you wanna attract as many potential buyers as possible, but you also wanna get a fair price. The most important time on the market is that first week. You want to get as many buyers and eyes on the property as possible. You want to have as many showings because when you have more showings, the possibility of having multiple offers goes up and buyers start to bid against themselves, especially when they hear that there's a multiple offer situation. The worst thing that can happen is that you sit on the market because what happens is, is that buyers start to think that there's something wrong with the property. They start to wonder why has that home been sitting? And the longer it sits, the higher the possibility that you get a low offer because buyers start to think, well, if the home's been sitting and maybe the seller is desperate, I can get it at a lower price. Now that you have an idea on value, you may be wondering, well, how long does it typically take to sell a house in my area? The length of time varies depending on your location and the current state of the real estate market. In a hot market, homes sell very quickly, sometimes in weeks or even days like we just saw. In a slower market, it could take several months. Your real estate agent who should be up to date on real estate trends should be able to give you all of this information and give you a, an expected and realistic time on how long your home will be on the market. I hear this next question so often and I see so many people make the mistake of doing too much before consulting their realtor. The question is, is should I make repairs or renovations to my home before putting it on the market? Many repairs and renovations can help to get in more potential buyers and help the value of the home. But it is so important to talk to your realtor before doing these repairs or renovations. And let me just repeat that one more time. I'm going to get really close because this is so important. It is so important to talk to your realtor before, before doing these renovations or repairs. 
I have seen so many people do way too much before talking with me. I've gone to multiple listing appointments with, they have a laundry list of all of the things they're either going to do or they have already started. And I could have saved them so much money if they would have just talked to me before. Because in the current real estate market, especially in last year and the year before, you actually didn't have to do too much because there's such a low inventory that buyers were willing to take a home that maybe needed to be painted or maybe needed like the floor was chipped or something and they were willing to just buy the home as is instead of you making those repairs. I would rather see you put that money into maybe your next home or maybe even curb appeal because ultimately what you're trying to do is get as many buyers in the home as possible. So while you may be worried about the paint chipping on the wall, for example, or even that you wanna change the color, I'm more worried about the fact that your flower beds may need some mulch or your flower beds may need some flowers just to get more curb appeal to bring the people in. So it's very important to have a discussion with your realtor before <laughs> you make these renovations or repairs. All right, so there are a few documents that you will need to fill out prior to listing. If you are listing with a realtor, you will need to fill out a listing agreement that is with the brokerage, and in Delaware, it is required that you fill out three disclosures. That is the seller's disclosure, the lead-based paint disclosure, and the radon disclosure. All three of these disclosures are required to be filled out prior to putting your home on the market because these disclosures will go on the MLS and be public knowledge. I always tell my sellers to fill out the disclosures to the best of their knowledge. Do not guess on the seller's disclosure. If you do not understand something, make sure that you reach out to your realtor for clarification before trying to guess and then getting it wrong. This next question normally comes up after we're already under contract, but you may already be thinking about it. And that is, are there any tax implications for selling my home? If you have lived in the home for more than three years and it has been your primary residence, then there are no capital gains. Before settlement, you will receive a form from the attorney's office, and that is a 5403 tax form. If you have any questions about the form, I do recommend reaching out to either your realtor, the attorney, or your tax preparer. This form will be used when filing taxes for that year. Selling your home can be a complex process. But by using this video and also having the right guidance, you can achieve a successful home sale. If you are thinking about selling, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. There is a link down below in the description for an instant valuation of what your home is worth, or you can send me an email and we can set up a meeting to talk in person about what your goals are for selling your home. I really hope that this video helps. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new video or any Delaware content. And I will see you on the next one. Hey, after watching this video, are you interested in more Delaware content? Check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour Delaware New Construction Homes with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.